Roanoke sucks. Yeah. Everybody quiet, please. Hey everyone, my name is Kyle Sharples with the Jesse Realty Group. We are local realtors uh, who love Roanoke and want to make a bunch of videos to show you what it's like to work, live, and play in our favorite city. We get messages all the time about people moving here within the city and we absolutely love it. So if you're even thinking about moving to Roanoke, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, heck, even send an owl if you want. We have your back when you're moving to Roanoke. So reason number one that everybody says Roanoke sucks, um, is because there's a lot of homeless people here. Um, it's a little skewed. Uh, Roanoke has a mission program that helps homeless people get back on their feet. Um, it's really successful. It works 90% of the time. But unfortunately, there are people who take advantage of that system, people who it doesn't work for, and those are the people that you tend to see. Um, it's really isolated around public transportation, um, where they can move around real easy and uh, it's really also localized to certain parts of downtown in the rougher neighborhoods. Um, which brings us to number two, everybody says that Roanoke has a high crime rate. Let me start with this, I have never felt unsafe here ever, not even once, not even like half a time. Um, I don't feel any less safe here than I have felt anywhere else I've been and I've been lucky enough to travel uh, a little bit more than most people. That being said, the national average is at a 4 on the index scale, and Roanoke is at a 4.1, 4.2. So it's right there at the national average. Like I said, I don't feel any less safe than I do anywhere else. Um, and the types of crimes here are like anywhere else. Most of it is petty theft, people get in fights, somebody stealing an iPhone. Um, and the violent stuff happens typically because of drugs or gangs. So kids, don't do drugs, uh, and you can avoid that. Um, number three, sorry, the notes. Number three is that people say there is nothing to do. I hear this one, this is probably the most common thing people complain about in Roanoke is that there's nothing to do here. And to them I say, get out of your house. You're not going to find anything to do sitting in your living room pondering what there is to do. It just doesn't work. you got to go out and find stuff to do. Um, just a few things that we have to do here are we have hiking, we have fishing, we have movies, bowling, ice skating. In the winter we have an outside ice skating rink. We have an outdoor venue for music. We have a bunch of indoor venues for music. We have bars, we have clubs, we have restaurants. Um, we have more hikes than you can imagine. We have public parks, we have kayaking. Um, and you can drive a couple hours, you can snowboard uh, during the winter only. Um, <laughs> actually, I lied. There's a, there's a year-round snowboarding place like an hour and a half away from here. Um, you can, I've probably said bowling already, hockey games. Um, uh, we even have, uh, what's it called? Like the card game, Magic. But they have like Magic and Pokemon clubs and... Uh, What's that other one? Dungeons and Dragons, uh, computer game clubs. Um, anyway, there's a lot to do. So now that that's been uh, handled appropriately, um, next would be low income. And yes, Roanoke has a lower average income than the national average. It's very easy to find that information. Um, if the national average income is 36, Roanoke is about 32. That being said, it's not that big of a deal here because the cost of living is so low. On the index scale, national average is 100 and we're 16 points below at 84. So it is very, very affordable to live here. Uh, housing is cheaper, food is cheaper, gas is cheaper, everything is just a little bit cheaper than normal. So it really makes up for that, that income gap. So yeah. The last one, I put this on here um, because I hear a lot of people complain about this one as well. People say there's no good jobs left. There are no jobs, nobody's hiring, but if I decided tomorrow that I did not want to make YouTube videos and be part of the coolest real estate team in Roanoke, I'd be crazy, but I could probably have a job this week. 
I just pulled up Indeed, um, and at this point in time, when I'm making this video, which is January 11th, um, 2020, the I could probably have a job this week. Um, all of these jobs provide on the job training and pay over $30,000 a year. And if you remember from the previous section that I just covered, $30,000 goes a long way here because the cost of living is so low. So there's 300, what did I say, 387 jobs. Sorry. And I mean, all you gotta do is go apply, talk to them, get off your butt, walk in there, demand a job, uh, you can have it. I hope this video provided a little bit more insight on what it's like to live in Roanoke. And we get questions all the time about moving here and what it's like to be here, and we love it. So please reach out to us, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, heck, send the owl. Whatever you need, we have your back when you're moving into Roanoke.